Welcome back to another Elkhart Brass Repair video. In this video, we're going to replace the seat and bail handle on the Chief XD handline nozzle and XD shutoff. The tools you'll need for this project start with three Allen wrenches, a 332nds, a 1/8th, and a 316ths Allen wrench. You'll also need a small strap wrench, blue Loctite 242 or equivalent, red Loctite 262 or equivalent, and Dow Corning number no. 7 silicone grease or equivalent. The XD repair kit, part number 81825001, will have all the seats, o-rings, and replacement parts you'll need for this procedure. So let's begin. Step 1. Remove the set screw located on the bottom of the discharge side of the shutoff body. Set aside and save this screw as it'll be used during reassembly. Next, use the strap wrench and remove the nozzle tip from the shutoff body, or the adapter outlet if working on an XD shutoff. Also, make sure to clean and remove any dirt or debris from all threaded parts throughout this entire procedure. Grab your allen wrench and remove the center set screw from the bail handle. Set this aside and save it. Then, use the allen wrench to gently pry the center cap up and out of the bail handle. Next, we're going to remove the larger cam stop screw from the bail handle before moving on to the dog point set screw inside the actuator shaft. Using the small 332nd Allen wrench, loosen the dog point set screw so that it disengages from the ball valve. Note, the dog point set screw will not back all the way out of the actuator shaft. It's a part of it itself. We're just going to back it out far enough so that it's free from the ball valve. Then we're going to repeat this process on the other side. Next, place the bail handle in the open position and remove the ball valve. Once the ball valve has been removed, we're going to push the actuator shafts in towards the center of the waterway to remove them from the shutoff body. The bail handle is now free from the shutoff body and may be cleaned or replaced as needed. At this point, we can reinstall the bail handle in the reverse order of the removal. However, in this video, we're going to continue on and demonstrate how to replace the shutoff seats. With the bail handle removed, we can now remove the rear shutoff seat and o-ring through the discharge side of the shutoff body. Go ahead and clean any dirt or debris you find inside the shutoff body and reusable parts. We are now ready to install the new parts from the XD repair kit. Be sure to lubricate all o-rings with Dow Corning number no. 7 silicone grease during installation. To start, place the rear seat with the o-ring inserted into the recess back into the shutoff body. Note. The front and rear seats are the same and may be used in either location. Next, we're going to fully expose the dog point screw of the actuator shafts in order to apply a small dab of red Loctite number 262 or equivalent. After applying the Loctite, Back the dog point set screw back into the actuator shaft until it's flush. Be sure to apply Dow Corning number no. 7 silicone grease to the O-rings on the actuator shafts as well.
We're now going to reinstall the bail handle. Place the bail handle back into the shutoff body in the open or back position at approximately 45 degrees. Note, make sure the word open on the bail handle reads from the discharge side of the shutoff body. Next, install the actuator shafts by pushing them through the inside of the nozzle body. Make sure the flats of the actuator shaft run parallel to the waterway. If they're not, we won't be able to install the ball valve in the next step. Slide the ball valve back into the shutoff body. If it doesn't easily slide all the way back into position, you may need to adjust the dog point screw to allow more room. The next step is the most difficult and most important step of this video. We're now going to align the thread on the dog point set screws into the holes on each side of the ball valve. If this is your first time doing this repair, please take extra care to ensure that the ball valve is perfectly aligned with the waterway when threading in the dog point screws. Once you're sure the dog point screws are properly threaded into the holes on the ball valve, move on to the next step. Next, apply a small dab of blue Loctite number 242 or equivalent to the cam stop screws and reinstall them until tight. You can now check that the bail handle operates freely. If it's too tight or too loose, simply adjust the dog point set screw until it's corrected. Next. Put a small amount of dog horning number 7 silicone grease inside the bail handle recess where the actuator shaft cover o-ring will contact. Position the bail handle in the open position, align the word Elkhart so that it reads upright, and press the cover into place until it stops. Then apply a small dab of red Loctite number 262 or equivalent to the socket cap screw and reinstall until tight. Next. We're going to repeat this process on the other side of the nozzle. After that's finished, check that the bail handle operates smoothly a second time, and then place it into the open position. Now you're going to want to place the o-ring followed by the shutoff seat in the recess of the nozzle tip or the adapter outlet if working with an XD shutoff. For demonstrational purposes, you can see that we've left the o-ring and seat in the nozzle tip here. However, those replacement parts are included with the XD repair kit used during this procedure and should be replaced as well. With the new o-ring and seat in place, we're ready to install the nozzle back onto the shutoff body. No Loctite is used for this step. Using the strap wrench, thread and tighten the nozzle tip onto the shutoff body. Watch for the pre-drill hold from the factory assembly and line that up with the set screw hole in the bottom of the shutoff body. We recommend placing a small piece of tape or something to temporarily mark that area on the nozzle tip to help you align it a lot easier. Once the holes are lined up, apply blue Loctite number 242 or equivalent to the set screw and install until tight. Now we can wipe off any excess Loctite or grease that may have occurred during installation. We recommend a mild citrus degreaser for this process. 
check that the bail handle operates smoothly one last time. And finally, allow 24 hours for the Loctite or thread sealant to fully cure before use. After the Loctite is cured, be sure to flow test the nozzle checking for any leaks, the stream quality and flow, and overall smoothness of operation before putting back into service. Thanks for watching! If you have any further questions or would like additional instructions or information on the Chief XD or Elkhart Brass products, please visit our website at www.elkhartbrass.com.